Oh my gosh, here we are with uh, October War from SBI. I think it's either, I want to say it's 67, uh, edition 67, but I think it's not. I think it's in the 50s. Um, magazines all the way over there, we won't worry about that. Magazine's kind of irrelevant anyway, since most of the data in it is uh, massively out of date. But October War, uh, let's have a quick chat about where we're at with it so far. And and can I'll say up front, uh, it is such a relief to play a game that is uh, has cl relatively clear rules. Simple and elegant uh, counters for the period. A thoughtful design and obviously well developed. And uh, you know, Hardy is the uh, designer. He's done a couple of big monster games. He's also done some stinkers, kind of a mixed bag, a big ACW guy as well, uh, none, which I've played none of. But uh, this game was also developed when I guess Mark Herman was a younger lad. And so he did the development for it. And uh, as he mentioned in a post recently, you know, they left off the map, the, the uh, observation table, which is critical because you need to know how far away you can see people in this sort of desert terrain and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm going to flip the camera around and let's have a chat about the game and uh, what I like about it. And just because I, I want to talk about it, not because I'm doing a review or anything because I haven't finished playing yet. I'm only on turn four, but it's, it's pretty cool. So I want to talk about a few little things and I, and I would like to ask a question at the end and hopefully I'll remember to do that. All right. So, uh, <clears throat> interesting obviously we got to reset our thinking because it's all 70s 80s stuff and we're we're excited that there are more than three colors uh we've got these uh you know oops i dropped it i dropped it this is a half track basically a half track or an open truck with a 50 cal on it but you can see there now all the counters are, are blank on the fronts because it's supposed to be uh you know hidden uh gameplay right which is you know kind of odd and playing it solo i i I'm really not a huge fan of games that play that way but you know, it's not a big deal uh pretty much anything that moves out in this sort of terrain anyway you're gonna if it moves and kicks up a dust storm, there's a good chance it's a vehicle or a tank and you can probably tell by the amount of dust what type it is. Platoon scale, so basically three, three tanks in each one of these units, plus or minus, and uh, the counters have uh, an attack factor on the left, bracketed numbers depending on the bracket type is a defensive number, range on the right of 12. And six is the, um, no, uh, 12 is the defense and six is the movement. Terrain is pretty straightforward. There's uh, protective, you know, this is a defile. This is a wadi. These are uh, sandy ridges or whatever the case may be. And these are supposed to be elevations. But in my particular scenario, there's only, only the dark brown gives you an elevation there. Let me just move it there. Uh, <clears throat> now, obviously, because it's a magazine game, another concession we have to make is that I uh, not enough counters for stuff. So I'm al almost, oh, I was almost out of panic counters, and there are no counters for the artillery, uh, either where it lands to attack or uh, where smoke is placed, and these are smoke placement. I mean, here's what I really like about this game, and I could see this being modded extensively, and I haven't looked on Board Game Geek to see if there are any additional files for it. But uh, here's, here's the, the basics of it. I take my uh, combat factor of 15 for this tank, and I'm gonna fire it at this BRDM, assuming well, it's all the way over here, this BRDM. Uh, now, assuming I could see it, because it, it, if, if it was opportunity movement, I would see it, because it's uh, unlimited range, basically, to see stuff. But if it's stationary, I've gotta be within a certain range, and here, at this point, I'm actually out of range. Because uh, I think it's uh, uh, stationary vehicle, any other type of terrain. Yeah, it looks like the observation range is one. So yeah, clearly out of range. But uh, if it was uh, yeah, 
stationary vehicle in clear terrain. There it is, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, but I'm not in clear terrain. I'm behind this sandy ridge. But let's just say I could see it. I would take my 15 strength and I would compare it against this defense of 5. So I'm going to have a 10 uh, on the combat table. But because it's at, a, at range, I've got to look up my uh, range attenuation table, uh, which is kind of a cool idea, right? So you look at uh, the range in hexes on the left, and then look at the type of target you're firing and the type of weapon you're firing. And if it says N, it's normal, P is prohibited, and then the minuses or pluses, depending on the range, are uh, enhancements or detractions from your firepower. Nice and simple. You get the net results, you flip it over, you fire, you get, if you're full strength, you're firing here. If you've lost a step, you're D1, so you're gonna, you're gonna get your results on this strength, on this table, and if you're a D2, which means you're down to one step, you're gonna fire on this table. And you can see, it could get pretty deadly, you're gonna automatically lose a step, here you're just going to roll a die and if you roll i think it's underneath is it oh yeah equal to or less than you're going to lose a step uh you might take a suppression are there suppressions on this no that's just for uh anti-personnel um these are all fives and ones and then obviously you can miss anyway pretty straightforward uh combat system and it's three layers three levels three tanks makes kind of sense to me uh, same same thing would apply to infantry. There's overruns, as I mentioned. There's artillery. Uh, there's opportunity fire. Now, what it doesn't have is, hey, if I'm shooting down on you, I might get. Uh, there's no bonuses for shooting down onto top armor. Uh, there's no onto the decks and stuff like that. There's no malice uh, for shooting up. Uh, all these sorts of things. So it's a it's a very clean, simple, straightforward system with the, a handful of scenarios and a campaign. And I've really enjoyed the, the game play itself. So the sequence of play is really straightforward. You roll for initiative and it's interactive. You roll it for initiative, so you get to fire first and then you alternate firing. And then you, and you roll to see who has, uh, has uh, uh, initiative for uh, by a die roll uh, to see uh, who moves first and then you alternate moving as well so you uh, one guy moves one unit you move another unit so it becomes a little bit of a cat and mouse game going on here my tactics have not been awesome obviously units that are further away and out of, out of, out of frame as the case may be <clears throat> I just bulk move those and then when it comes down to sort of this conflict uh, zone here then we, we, we're a little more strict and structured so I, I like the uh, the gameplay and it's really refreshing to sit down read a set of rules once make some underlines a couple of notes play a turn review realize your minor errors and then get back after it it's pretty pretty cool i will say it's also uh, this game is also enormously deadly <laughs> you know it's uh, you know two steps on here on these guys here a step each on all these guys and these guys are taking losses as well so it's uh, it gets hairy quickly uh but lots of fun so i can see why people uh find themselves uh feeling like they this is one of the rare gems out of the sbi state snt magazine stable all right, enough, uh, enough waffling. Uh, I'm going to get back and uh, roll some dice. Ciao.